Section 3 colon 3 Introduction to Beta, Performance Evaluation and Comparison, Comparing the performance of investments based on their beta values involves evaluating how the returns of different investments relate to the overall market movements. Beta provides a measure of an investment's systematic risk and sensitivity to market fluctuations. Here's how you can compare the performance of investments using beta values, gather historical data, collect historical price or return data for the investments you want to compare as well as the corresponding market index or benchmark. Ensure that the time period and frequency of data are consistent, calculate beta, use statistical methods like regression analysis to calculate the beta for each investment. The beta coefficient represents the relationship between an investment's returns and the returns of the market index. A beta greater than 1 indicates the investment is more volatile than the market, while a beta less than 1 suggests it is less volatile. Analyze performance during market movements, examine the performance of each investment during various market conditions, such as bull markets, bear markets, or periods of high volatility. Compare the actual returns of the investments with the expected returns based on their beta values. If an investment has a beta greater than 1, it is expected to have larger price movements in the same direction as the market during periods of positive market movements. A high beta investment may outperform the market, while during market declines, it may experience larger losses. Conversely, if an investment has a beta less than 1, it is expected to have smaller price movements compared to the market. It may exhibit relatively lower returns during market upswings but potentially lower losses during market downturns. Evaluate risk-adjusted performance. Consider risk-adjusted performance measures to account for the level of systematic risk associated with each investment. Risk-adjusted measures, such as the Sharp Ratio or the Trainer Ratio, assess the excess returns generated per unit of risk, usually measured by standard deviation or beta. Higher risk-adjusted ratios indicate better performance after adjusting for risk. Compare against benchmarks. Compare the performance of each investment to relevant benchmarks or market indices. Assess how each investment has fared relative to its beta value and the broader market. A positive alpha, indicating outperformance compared to the expected returns based on beta, may suggest skillful management or other favorable factors. Consider other factors. Keep in mind that beta is just one aspect of investment performance evaluation. Take into account other factors such as company fundamentals, industry trends, management quality, and macroeconomic conditions. These factors can influence an investment's performance and should be considered alongside beta. Remember that historical performance does not guarantee future results. And beta values are based on past data. Other factors and changes in market conditions can impact investment performance. It's essential to conduct comprehensive research, consider a range of performance metrics, and regularly review and monitor investments to make informed decisions. Consulting with a financial advisor or investment professional can provide valuable insights and expertise in comparing investment performance based on their beta values. Beta can be used to evaluate fund managers and investment strategies by assessing their ability to generate returns in relation to their exposure to systematic risk. Here's how beta can be utilized in evaluating fund managers and investment strategies. Assessing risk-adjusted performance. Beta helps evaluate a fund manager's ability to generate returns relative to the level of systematic risk taken. By comparing a fund's actual returns with its expected returns based on its beta, investors can assess whether the fund manager has effectively managed the risk associated with their investment decisions. A higher beta would typically be expected to yield higher returns, but the fund manager's skill is reflected in how well they deliver returns above what is predicted by their beta, comparing against benchmarks. Benchmark indices often represent the overall market performance. By comparing a fund's beta-adjusted returns against the benchmark's returns, investors can evaluate the fund manager's ability to outperform or underperform in relation to the systematic risk they have taken. If a fund consistently outperforms the benchmark after adjusting for beta, it suggests that the fund manager has added value through their investment decisions, evaluating risk management. Beta can also help assess a fund manager's risk management skills. A fund with a lower beta than its benchmark indicates a lower level of systematic risk, which may suggest effective risk management strategies employed by the fund manager. On the other hand, a fund with a significantly higher beta than the benchmark may indicate a more aggressive investment strategy. 
which may expose investors to higher volatility and potential losses. Understanding investment style, beta can provide insights into the investment style of fund managers. For example, a fund with a beta greater than may first indicate a more aggressive or growth-oriented investment approach, as it is expected to exhibit higher volatility and sensitivity to market movements. Conversely, a fund with a beta less than may first indicate a more conservative or defensive investment style, seeking lower volatility and potential downside protection, evaluating consistency, by analyzing a fund manager's historical beta values and returns, investors can assess the consistency of their performance and risk management over time. Consistency in generating returns in line with beta or outperforming beta over different market cycles demonstrates the fund manager's ability to navigate various market conditions effectively, consider limitations and other factors. While beta is a useful tool, it has limitations. It is based on historical data and may not fully capture future risk and return dynamics. Therefore, it is essential to consider other factors, such as fund expenses, track record, investment process, and qualitative factors like the fund manager's experience and expertise, in conjunction with beta analysis. Additionally, evaluating fund managers and investment strategies requires a comprehensive analysis that goes beyond beta alone. When evaluating fund managers and investment strategies, it is recommended to conduct thorough research, analyze performance metrics, and consider a range of factors to make well-informed investment decisions. Consulting with a financial advisor or investment professional can provide valuable insights and expertise in evaluating fund managers and investment strategies using beta and other relevant criteria.